time it's my season i want front of the line for no apparent reason <clears throat> thanks for coming back hanging out with your boy or your man grandma red track um i got a good topic tonight and it's one that's gonna make you grow so I know I'm going to get about two, three, four, five views on this one. And I could do the total opposite, right? And just run it up, right, if I wanted to. Today was a wild day. And um, I'm not going to go into it. <laughs> you guys didn't know me. Um... But tonight, what I want to talk about is a serious topic, um, and it's one that, I got to be honest, usually when I put my videos up, I'm always ahead of you. I've already conquered that mountain. You see what I mean? Like, I'm speaking from experience. Usually, um, something that I've um, achieved or overcome or new, some new thing thought or idea that I'm trying to express or something that could raise your vibration or frequency. I've already done that usually, but this one um, tonight is something that I'm actually in the process of working on. So you guys can um, join me in the challenge. Um, I guess for about the last year, what I've been doing um, at night is I would like go to sleep listening to like Jesus teachings. Not that I'm a Jesus freak. I'm not a Jesus freak. I'm not at all. It, I, I listen to like, I listen to um the Buddha teach. I've been lit for the last year. I've been listening to the Buddha teachings, um, Jesus teachings, um, in depth, in depth. Cause I, obviously I've heard them, but really like almost trying to memorize them. I, I know that sounds kind of kind of different, but yeah, I've been trying to memorize Jesus' teachings for the last year. And then um, I looked at Jesus' commands because they're different. Jesus' teachings and his commands are two different set of um, guidelines on how you should live your life. You know, um, the one thing that I noticed in Jesus's commands, and you guys can look this up on YouTube. It's not a big deal. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, um, I get out ahead of people because I never stop learning. If you're not putting something in your head every night, well, you could come to my page and put something in your head. But if you're not going actively going out there and trying to expand, you're not going to grow as a person. Who I was a year ago is different now. Who I was six months ago is different. A month ago, different. Last week, different. You see what I mean? In a better way. Um, but anyway, the uh, Jesus' commands. One of them that I've been struggling with is... Praying for your enemies. And um, not even enemies. You see what I mean? People that, that wish you ill will. They could be people that are close to you that wish you ill will. And you know it, but you're not going to say anything to them, right? Because you just can't keep it real with them, right? Because you might, what, risk the relationship that's already just like, what, really already fucked up. But since you're not going to say anything, it's just going to stay fucked up, right? So, you know, like those people that um, wish you ill will, it doesn't even have to be an enemy. Um, people that have bad intentions for you. You know, if that makes it clearer. Um, can you pray for those people? And that's what I've been doing for about the last, let's see, it's been, I told you I'm always ahead of you, even though I'm still working on it. 
Uh, I've been doing that now for about three weeks. Trying to pray for the people that I know are just hating on me. I mean, you know what I'm talking about? Even if I don't talk to them, just still just sending that out. And it's been a struggle, but it's also made me stronger. It's made me spiritually, uh, much more spiritually stronger. And it's also um, caused me to look at myself and even see the the um, the lack of growth um, in that area. I really had to struggle with that, and I don't know if anybody out here um, has done this before. But honestly, praying for people that you know are not praying for you, and probably playing against you. You see what I mean? Can you do that earnestly? I'm not talking about some bullshit prayer where God help all my enemies. No. Are you praying for their success? I'm taking it to that level. Can you pray for someone who's wishing on your downfall? Can you pray for them to be successful and happy and full of joy? Do you have that capacity? Because that's the Jesus mindset. I'm not a Jesus freak, but he damn sure put a hell of fire blueprint out here. I'm not a Buddha freak, but he damn sure has something to say about how to live your life. You feel me on that? And there are a lot of people out here, philosophers, people that I could name that you wouldn't know that I listened to over the years. But, you know, like I said, you have Jesus' teachings and then you have Jesus' commands. Jesus' teachings, I, I kind of got that. I've gotten that. But the one thing that inspired me to do more and to be better and trying to raise my level of thinking even higher was when I started to listen to Jesus' commands and um, the one thing that led me there was um, the teachings. And um, one of the things that Jesus said was be perfect. And, you know, when I was coming up, um, believe it or not, I was a freaking tennis star. <laughs> not like not like to the point with, like, Serena Williams, but in, like, my own little world, I was. You know what I mean? Um, I was a bad motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? If I, if I didn't like pussy so much, I, I would have gone a lot further than I did you know, in tennis, but, um, you know, the one thing that my dad used to always tell me, um, even after I started winning and stuff, he would say, strive for perfection. And I hated that he said that because I always took what he said, even though I used to hate that shit, he, all the lectures and everything that he used to give me, I used to hate that shit. But I always took that motherfucker serious. My dad would have me every day, my Lord, two, three, four hours, standing at the bedroom door while he's laying in the bed, just lecturing my ass. And even now, those lectures carry me. They carry me. And, and and you know what? There are a lot of people out here that don't have fathers. And if some of my videos or if some of the things that I talk about um, can help people in that way, man, that's what that's what I want. You know what I mean? I want people to be like, in 15 years, like, I'll never forget, you know, Ramel saying, um, strive for perfection. Because it's not that hard to do. 
It's not that hard to do. And that's one of the biggest myths out here is that you can't be perfect. Mm Mm-hmm. And perfect doesn't have anything to do with the way you look. You see what I mean? Um, It's about having a perfect soul. And having a perfect soul has one huge advantage. Peace. When you have peace peace with inside you, it doesn't matter if you have a million dollars or if you have one dollar. Mm-hmm. Cause if you're if you're if you're peaceful with that one dollar, that means that you have everything you need. Why do I need money? I've been rich before. And and a lot of the time that I was rich, I was not at peace. You see what I mean? So, <clears throat> I want you guys to take this from this video. Two things from this video. Two very, very important things from this video. One is, I want you to try every night just take out five minutes because it's going to be hard to do but try it and re- and and remember that as you're doing this you're striving for perfection it might be hard the first night it might be hard the second night it might even be harder the third night because whoever you're praying for might have just done something to you but i want i want you to to take out five minutes. And before you know it, you know what you're going to do? You're going to be laying there for 30 minutes. You'll be sitting there for an hour after a while praying for people. And then you say, you know what? That person pisses me off. I don't even want to pray for them tonight. It's okay. Pick it up tomorrow. And what you're doing is what? And this is one of the things I want you to take away from this video. You're what? striving for perfection. And if you've gotten this far in this video, you're probably not that far away from it. Second thing I want you to take away from this video, and I don't want you to ever, ever forget this. The person you're listening to, (laughs) My name is Ramo Redtrack. Don't ever forget that. I'm the baddest man on YouTube.